All right, let's take a look at mixing vMix inputs together and how the multi-view works. Now, you can see here that I'm kind of using a multi-view right now. I have a live camera, I have a desktop capture, and I have a title all mixed into one input that I can quickly switch to. And when I switch to, there's actually a little animation with the graphics, so it's pretty cool. So let's take a look at how this works. Now, we're going to look at a full screen multi view later. And full screen multi view is an output, it's a multi view output of all of your inputs. We're not going to look at that yet. That's in an upcoming video. We're going to be looking at adding an input. Let's just do a blank input. And basically organizing new inputs in a multi view on top. So for example, we have this video here. Maybe I want to do a picture in picture. Maybe I have another video and I want to do a video over here. And then I want to do, you know, an, an, another overlay over here. It's the ability to move around and mix together a whole bunch of inputs into one area, one scene. Now, one thing that I'd like to do to explain this a little bit, this is actually a, a NDI camera of myself. Let's use this as our example. What I'd like to do is create a virtual input. So this is our example camera. And by the way, it's worth noting, and this is actually worth noting on a video clip here. Uh, there's the ability, let's use this as our example video, that you can sharpen the video. You see that little sharpen button there. That's a great way to sharpen the video. But you can also create a virtual input of from the uh, the source or the input that you're working with. So I'm going to click that virtual input. And what it does is it creates a completely new input that's exactly the same as the first one. In fact, if I hit play on the first one, it, you can see it's also on the second one. But the reason why I wanted to create a virtual one is I want to show the difference between overlays and countdowns. So one of the things we can do here is do a couple different like overlays. Let's say we do a picture and picture overlay, and then we have a lower third overlay, which will which is right here. Let's just play that. Have it come up a little bit. Okay, pause. So in the multi view, what we can do is we can select each thing that we have here and kind of make it bigger and smaller and move it around. And I did that by clicking the position button on the multi view. Now you should know that the multi view is layer 10 is the top, layer one is kind of the bottom. So we can layer them on top of each other like this. Now, when we cut to this video, you can see that we've got the title and we have the overlays that we set up on top of this video, but they're not on top of this one. So there's a difference between using a channel of overlay, right? Where we just overlay an input on top of a video file versus using the multi-view where it is built in directly into that input. So it may be more flexible for you to use lower thirds, for example, on an overlay channel. VMix has four overlay channels. So think about what is the best for you and decide whether or not you need one or the other based on your preference. Okay, so now that we kind of understand how that goes, let's go back to our color here. And I want to show you these presets. So let's say we've got backup one and we've got example video two. Now we can click these different layouts on the left-hand side. They actually apply to one and two for this example. And you can see all of these different preset layouts that allow you to quickly kind of reorganize the way that your inputs and your multi-view is set up. So you can also add your own, and that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to create our own. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this layout here on layer 10, because that's the top layer. And then let's just choose maybe layer 8. 
we'll use our example video here. Oh, I moved layer 10 by accident. So let's go and reset everything there. And you got to hit the position button so that you can tell vMix which input you want to move. So we're going to position this one here and just get it in position there. And then we're going to add another multi-view with our example camera. And with our example camera, we're going to move it up here. Now, this is going to be one of the first times where we're going to use, we could use the cropping feature. So on the cropping side, you can crop things down. It's not really necessary with how we're setting it up, but it's good for you to know that you can crop images. So now we've created, created a multi-view. Let's add one more kind of lower third to this and let's transition to it. And so we can see that lower third pop up. There it is. And we've got our kind of picture in picture layout. So that's an example of how the multi-view can work. So multi-views are great. Here's another example. We could take this large full screen um, video and we could put on top of it a PNG file. It kind of adds a cool layout to it. So again, we can either have, we could build these graphics together or we can use channels of overlay. So if it's a specific you know, um, type of layout, you want to use multi-view. If it's just an overlay that you're going to show quickly and have come down, use your channels. So that is how you can mix together multiple inputs inside of vMix. I hope that's helpful. Let's get on to our next video after this.